Yo, let me make it your friend and ninja, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you what the forward slash summon command does in Minecraft. So let's jump right into the video. So the first thing that you guys can do is summon basic mobs like this. So look, I just summoned a zombie and now he's burning. Die zombie. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll show you guys how to do this. So what you're going to do first is you're going to type in forward slash give your name uh, a command block. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just hit enter. You got a command block. First step done. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into command block and you're going to type forward slash summon. Whatever mob you want to summon, so zombie, and then wherever you want them to be. Now, these can be any coordinates, but I'm going to be using relatives, so yeah. So this is like saying one block above the command block, summon the zombie, like that. So then what I can do is I can grab a button, I always delete my buttons, and then place the button down right on top of the command block and there you go guys that's how you summon a basic mob so this could be any mob you want to this could be a minecraft blaze so let's let's type that in right there blaze and there you go and then you can just hit this whoa and then you can just hit this button and there you go guys whatever mob you wanted was was there and for some reason that zombie is still alive so another cool thing you guys can do with command blocks is summon lightning bolts like this. Watch. That is pretty awesome. And there's like a hundred of them coming down at once. Now remember, I, I am using the repeat command so it summons a bunch of them at one time. But this is what it would look like if you had it on normal. Just one lightning bolt. But I like to summon a lot of them. At, like that. that. That's pretty awesome. Now to do this command, it's pretty simple. Like the last one, all you have to do is type in forward slash summon. And then lightning. And then where you want it to spawn. Like that. And there you go. This That one was pretty simple. Pretty easy. Just turn it on repeat for maximum firepower. Like that. Okay, now the very last one is a little bit more complicated for you guys. Um, it, it summons mobs with armor, like this guy, Jeffrey, and he has a sword, crossbow, uh, a bunch of uh, just mixed matched armor. It's pretty cool, and you can name them and everything. But it is a longer command and requires a lot more typing. But I will show you guys how to do it. There's a very easy way to do it um, on a website, so I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, guys, so now you can go to this website, digminecraft.com slash generator slash summon mob PHP. And um, once you're here... You'll just scroll down, summon mob generator Java edition, make sure you're on 1.14. Then go down here and select your mob that you want to spawn. So I'm just going to do a skeleton. His name is going to be Bobby, so it's Jeffrey and Bobby, you know. Um, now this mob can ride a mob, but I don't want it to. So now you can select your main hand and your off hand. So I'll just put a diamond axe and a shield. Yeah, let's do that. Now you can select the drop rate too. So if you once you kill the mob, how often the, it drops the stuff that it has, and then you can put enchant on the certain weapons that the mob has. So like I'm breaking three, and there you go. Not that one because you know. And then you guys can just go ahead and select all the rest of the armor. Now this is the armor part, so you can do whatever you want: iron chest plate, you know, just go through diamond boots. It has all the things, and then drop rate how often you want it to drop. And now if you want the armor on the mob to have a certain name you can go ahead and name it like uh yeah we'll just do bobby's armor like that yeah sure and then you can add like a little description or lore of what the what, how the armor got onto him or something like that i don't know whatever you guys want to do with that I, i'll just type in some random letters so you guys can see and then you can put enchants on the armor just like you did with the swords or the weapons and yeah i'll just go ahead and do that real fast for you guys And then you can select your position where you want the mobs to spawn. I'm just going to leave it right where it is. It's going to spawn right above the command block. But you guys can change that to whatever you want in your Minecraft world. Say you're like creating a PvP arena and you needed mobs or something. There you go. That's how you do it. And then you can put effects on the mobs. So like blindness, glowing, instant damage, invisibility. All the, all the different ones that you guys can think of. And then you'll just hit this generate command here. 
And there you go. All you have to do is just copy this command, run over to Minecraft. Back inside Minecraft, you'll get a new command block. Well, let's just clear all the fire out of the way. And you'll just paste it in there. That's literally all you have to do. It's really simple. And then just slap a button on this thing. And there is your custom mob. Now, this is pretty crazy right here compared to this one. I mean, Jeffrey and Bobby. Bobby's wearing the dragon head, so it's kind of hard to... And he's looking at me. It's, it's a little scary. I'm going to go ahead and kill them and see if he drops the stuff. Okay, so we did get his head. Now, so it says Bobby armor and then the lore that you put in there or the story behind it that you wanted. So it does keep the, it does keep the labels on the armor. Now, see, this one's just the one that I didn't put anything on. But this one does have what I put on it. So that's pretty cool. And those are three simple commands for you guys' use. You can use them for anything that you guys want to. Servers, just fiddling around with, creating cool bosses. It's really up to you. If you guys like this video, then please leave a like. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. This has been an Ninja. I'll catch you guys in the next Minecraft video.